There are two ways to view your images in Lightroom. If we look, we can see I've got a folder, 2010, and in the folder I have a number of subfolders. By default, I can see all of the images in all of the subfolders. So for example, I can see not only the White Sands images, but we can scroll down and I can see all of the images that I shot in Santa Fe. If you're a wedding photographer, this would be analogous to being able to see by clicking on the wedding, not only images that are in a folder called reception, but also images that might be in a folder called ceremony. This can have huge advantages, but not everyone likes to view their images this way. The other way to view your images is to turn off the option to show the photos in the subfolders. Now when I have the 2010 folder selected, I can't see any images because there are no images loose in that folder. In order to see the Copenhagen images, I have to click on the Copenhagen folder, and in order to see the White Sands images, I have to click on that folder. What startles most users is when they actually close the parent folder, and they see that the photo count is set to zero. That's only because the photo count is set to zero because there are no loose photos in that folder. All of the folders are nice and tidy in the subfolders, so don't let that worry you. If you want to change back and forth, all you need to do is click on the plus and choose Show Photos in Subfolders, and you're back to the default setting.